Welcome, this is Monty, uh, once again from DPL Surveillance Equipment, and I want to say happy holidays, and uh, the new year is about to start, and I want everyone to make sure you get up to a good start, do your typical house cleaning, clearing out everything from the previous year, and let's get ready for a prosperous and healthy new year coming up. Um, now, as I typically state in our introduction for our company, we uh, we're, we're, hello, um, Miranda. We're a, a company that has lifetime guarantees and warranties in all the products. We have 24-7, 365 tech sales and customer support. We have perhaps the largest inventory of items that not only can you buy, but you can rent as well. Um, we have the largest video library, uh, bar none in the industry. We have a video library consisting of hundreds of videos where you can see us demonstrate everything from uh, bug detectors to nanny cameras, GPS trackers, etc., etc., um, then we have an articles directory. You can learn about all sorts of different neat little things, uh, surveillance, counter surveillance, bug detection, electronic harassment and prevention. You can learn about uh, targeted individuals, learn about um, um, electrical hypersensitivity, all sorts of different things in, in the articles directory. Go there and check a look at that. Take a look at that and see and check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions regarding the surveillance and, and counter surveillance products that we sell, just call 888-344-3742. That's 888-344-3742. Um, let's get right into this particular session here. Now, this, this particular session has to do with the IRS and, um, and Coinbase. There's a, an exchange um, or a, a service called Coinbase. What they do is they typically help you uh, buy and sell Bitcoin. Uh, you can store your Bitcoin with Coinbase. Just go to Coinbase.com. I highly recommend, highly recommend them. So far, I like them a lot. So far, I don't have any reason to not like them. They seem to be doing a pretty good job. Um, now, Again, this session has to do with Coinbase and the IRS. The IRS is currently trying to require that Coinbase turns over uh, millions of records for its customers. They issued, um, the IRS issued what's known as a John Doe request. And basically, um, the IRS is, is, is stating that because there may have been one or two people um, uh, who profited from Bitcoin and, and, and maybe they didn't pay their taxes and, 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 and we need to take a look at uh, your entire database of customers. And um, so they're justifying going after millions of customers um, by um, isolating three particular customers. You know, they initially uh, looked at the, the, the transactions of three customers and they want to go after millions of customer accounts um, in a phishing expedition, what's known as a phishing expedition, where you, 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 know, you suspect there could be more people, you're not quite sure, but you want to get all the records, all the personal profiles, everything from a particular company, and just in case you know, there's something there. Now, this is a problem, and I'm going to read to you a little bit from this particular article on Coinbase. Coinbase customer doubles down on legal action against IRS. Uh, there's an individual by the name of, uh, he's actually a lawyer, uh, the lawyer fighting a one-man battle against the IRS on behalf of thousands of Coinbase customers has not been swayed by the agency's efforts to appease him. Initially, when um, uh, Jeffrey Burns, okay, reading further, instead of pacifying Coinbase user Jeffrey Burns, the, IRS, the IRS's change of tax seems to have made him more determined to carry on the, the, uh, the fight. So um, Jeffrey Burns basically is a, um, a lawyer, and he determined that he was going to represent uh, the entirety of the Coinbase users. And, and my hat is off to, to Jeffrey, and I think we'd, we should all should give him a big uh, applause, a hand, uh, for, for sticking up and, and pointing this out and going forward with this case. And I think we need to rally behind them, as a matter of fact, and uh, instigate a class action lawsuit against the IRS. Now, before I go too far, I just want to make sure that you guys understand. When, uh, any government agency, they can't overstep their legal um, responsibilities, re responsibilities and jurisdiction. Now, this is very similar to the Apple case. The government um, 
being incompetent as they are, uh, the FBI's and CIA's of the world, they, they, they couldn't figure out how to crack into the Apple phone and, 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 and get around the security protocols put in place. So they tried to compel Apple to give them access, to put a backdoor in the Apple iPhone to, get, to give the, uh, the FBI and the CIA access to it. Now this is very similar. Because the, the IRS is lazy, like the FBI, the CIA, and because they're incompetent, they want us to dumb down technology. They want us to compromise security. They want us to water down uh, encryption. And this is no different. If the IRS had, had any clue in terms of whether or not there, was, there were more people who were violating laws, they were specifically go after those individuals. I, I don't care if you need to analyze the blockchain. I don't care if you need to hire a third-party company to pull up transactions on the blockchain or whatever you need to do. You need to do that. That means you get off your ass and you do something to make sure you understand who you're going after. And then when you go to a judge, don't go crying to some judge, you know, IRS. Don't go, to, don't, don't go crying to some judge begging for a John Doe um, warrant, if you will, or subpoena, whereby millions of people's personal information gets um, compromised because the IRS is so fucking incompetent. Let, let me give you an idea why I don't trust these bastards, okay? Um, there was a, a particular situation where the IRS was hacked into, okay? 700,000 approximately accounts were compromised. The IRS initially said approximately 100,000 taxpayer accounts had been compromised, then raised the total to as many as 334,000 in August. Friday's estimate added an additional 390,000 accounts, boosting the estimated total to more than 700,000. The information stolen includes social security numbers, birth dates, and other data that cyber thieves could use to impersonate a real taxpayer file a false federal tax return, and collect a fraud. I think it's possible that the hackers could have opened Coinbase accounts and our names and bought and sold as if it was us. <laughs> That's just me saying that last part here. But yeah, when you see the IRS is, a very, is very incompetent. They um, are, are charged with the responsibility, a serious responsibility, uh, responsibility of keeping our taxpayer records and personal information um, safe and secure. But, you know, when we heard about this hack, and you can Google it, Google it if you want or, or locate some of my articles, um, you know, 100 to 700,000 records of taxpayers were, were, are now in the hands of who knows who. So the IRS doesn't have a clue in terms of, you know, how to protect our existing information, let alone compel Coinbase or any other uh, company to get more information, you, you know, you don't get more information into a compromised database in, in, or into the hands of incompetent people at a tax agency when you've already demonstrated clearly that you're irresponsible for keeping track of the existing customers' uh, information. When I can see the IR, when, when you know, when the day comes when the IRS comes out and 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 apologizes to us publicly, a public service announcement and says, "Look, uh, we screwed up." We're going to do everything we can going forward, and we're going to lock down these databases. And 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 and, and when they publicly acknowledge this, and 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 and, and when they're when they're upfront forward with us, maybe uh, they'll start to regain my confidence. But right now, um, they're um, incompetent. They're um, not at all capable of gaining my trust anytime soon. I think they should be disbanded and and. Uh, and maybe some private company take over. Uh, I, I don't think they're. I don't think the IRS is actually um, the type of agency that's fit to operate in the in the in the um, information age uh, going forward. That's just my opinion. So just like the Federal Reserve and some of the other things. And see, the IRS's um, commissioner John uh, Koskinen. Uh, he was actually in fa uh, facing impeachment hearings. Uh, Representative Blake. Uh, Forenthold, Farenthold, a Republican out of Texas, he voted to refer the matter to the House Judiciary Committee on which he serves. They'd be hard-pressed to convince me to not vote to impeach him when it comes up in committee. This was a quote. 
Okay, when 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 John Koskinen uh, initially was caught al along with the IRS staff and, and employees, uh, I think this was associated with the Tea Party scandal, where they the, the IRS decided we're going to go through the customer database information and isolate on uh, people who are not uh, on the same agenda or same page as the the current administration. So these idiots not only will abuse their current authority, they, 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 they will do everything imaginable to take advantage of and, um, and, and, and uh, uh, I mean, they're just out of control, put it that way. Um, this is another interesting tidbit of information. IRS apologizes for $60,000, uh, a $60,000 Star Trek parody. This was in 2013 on March the 25th, on a Monday. In its apology to Congress, the IRS determined that the video, which was played for a leadership conference, did not have enough educational content to justify its cost. Republican Congressman Charles Boustany, B-O-U-S-T-A-N-Y, chairman of the House Ways and Means Subcommittee, demanded answers in a letter to the IRS Commissioner Stephen Miller. I guess Stephen Miller at the time was the commissioner. On, on the 20th of March, after the agency's apology two days later, Bostini said in a statement, there is nothing more infuriating to a taxpayer than to find out the government is using their hard-earned dollars in a way that is frivolous. The IRS admitted as much when it disclosed that it no longer produces such videos. The IRS, while defending the various video series uh, it films in its Maryland studio, did not stick to its phasers on the Star Trek video. It said, there is no mistaking that this video did not reflect the best stewardship of resources. A video of this type would not be made today. So, these people are idiots. They're fucking, re they're, they're, they're fucking criminals and crooks. Um, and you guys need to wake up and understand, look, we need to get rid of this agency completely, Okay. You, you know, you, you, the IRS's role in the economy is very, very significant, okay? Between the Federal Reserve and the IRS, there aren't, there aren't any other agencies or institutions, for that matter, public institutions that are charged with a greater responsibility. The Federal Reserve issues money and, 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 and has a, role, a, role, a big major role to play in interest rate setting. The IRS collects the fucking money, okay? And they... Uh, are charged with the responsibility of getting us to comply with the tax laws, okay? Um, those are two major responsibilities that have a whole lot to do with how the economy operates. Is it going to be operating effectively? Are people going to be feeling uh, as if they can trust those stewards with, with this great responsibility? Or if not, then tax compliance goes out the window. Trust in this system uh, goes out the window, okay? You cannot have fucking idiots running either of those institutions. You cannot have employees working for this, those institutions spending my money doing things that are counterproductive in terms of allowing me to prosper as a business owner, let alone a taxpayer as a business owner. I need to, be, I need to have the reassurance that these people actually are competent that they actually understand innovation, they understand technology, they understand um, what it means to be able to compel people to voluntarily look at the taxes that we're supposed to pay and, and, and have no problem paying them. But when you feel like you're under duress to comply with a system run by a bunch of Nazis and retards, that's not, that's not how you're supposed to work. That's not how it's supposed to operate. So going into the new digital realm of... Um, you know, cryptocurrencies and, and, and digital payment systems and such. We, we need to make sure we have people that we can actually work with that understand what they're doing and, 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 and that are going to partner with us to, to make us a formidable superpower. Not, not, not a, uh, we, we don't want to look like we're, we're, we're all fucking retarded, okay? This is a reflection on me as a taxpayer. If you guys don't care, that's your problem. But I do care, and I and I have to be careful who I partner with, or associated with, or has anything to do with me running my personal life or my business. Okay, now, this is another interesting scandal. 
The IRS's employees get millions in bonuses while paying zero income tax. Okay? A new report by the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration is unlikely to pr uh, improve the picture. This latest watchdog report covers the payment of performance bonuses to IRS employees as well as various other incentives and award payments. That may sound like a yawn, except for a key fact that is likely to shock most people in the business world. When the IRS awards performance, performance bonuses, the report states, the IRS doesn't distinguish between an employee who is unimpeachable and one who has been cited for misconduct. Come again, you ask. You heard it right. Okay. That article, that, that last sentence, is. It, let me make sure you guys understand this. And in and, 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 and most companies, in most environments, if you have a pristine record, if you're trying to do the right thing, if you're working hard, then you get paid accordingly. Uh, you can, you know, you, you're following the, uh, the rules and such, you get paid accordingly. But if you're not following the rules, if you're, if you're trying to circumvent, break the laws, and, 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 and do everything against what the company's policies and procedures uh, are trying to mandate, then that's a problem in, in private industry and for most companies. That's a problem, employee. Not, a, not someone you, get, you give them bonuses and rewards to. Uh, let me read further. Cash bonuses, time off awards, and other perks are awarded by the IRS. But the report says that the IRS employees with misconduct and other faults still get the bonuses and other perks. This is hardly an isolated problem. The report reveals that the IRS brass hand, hands out the award simply did not consider employee misconduct. Again, this is hardly an isolated problem. The report reveals that the IRS brass handing out the award simply did not consider employee misconduct. How is that possible, you ask? Well, even something as fundamental as, as tax compliance issues like employees of the tax, of the tax agency failing to pay their own taxes was not sufficient to nix an award, and the numbers are astounding. Okay, let's make sure we understand this. Fucking employees of the IRS may or may not even pay their own fucking taxes, and they get awards and they get bonuses. What kind of fucking retards we got running this fucking agency? I don't know. What type of taxpayers would send any money to a fucking agency that's going to work and not work in their best interest, that's going to work counter to their best interest, okay? If I want to throw my money away, IRS people, I know how to do that my fucking self, okay? I don't need you to throw my fucking money away and slap me in the face by awarding some fucking retards working for your staff and not understand what that means to be responsible. However... Now, what else we got to say? Oh, yeah. Between October 1st, 2010 and December 31st, 2012, more than 2,800 IRS employees which, uh, with recent bad conduct in their record received more than $2.8 million in cash awards, more than 27,000 hours in time off awards, and 175 quality step increases in their IRS employment. Among these awards, more than 1,100 IRS employees with substantiated federal tax compliance problems received more than a million dollars in cash awards, more than 10,000 hours in time off awards, and 69 quality step increases within a year after the IRS substantiated their tax compliance problems. Um, these weren't isolated instances. They weren't old and cold. The report also notes that a 1998 federal statute actually requires the removal of IRS employees who have committed certain acts of misconduct. One act is if the, if the IRS employee willfully fails to pay federal taxes. Despite this clear statute, notes the report, the IRS doesn't discriminate. So this is kind of important. It looks like... Um, the IRS is breaking the law. No one's getting penalized. No one's getting reprimanded. No bonuses are <laughs> clawed back. No hours are reduced. Or, 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 there's nothing happening there, okay? Um, so, look, you guys. I don't know whether or not you believe in feeding pigs 
or 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 uh, I think there's an old saying my father said, feeding frogs for snakes. If you want to fatten up the frogs at the IRS just so snakes can end up eating them, it's up to you. But don't waste your time trying to comply, understand, or work with these fucking idiots any longer. We need to, same thing with the Federal Reserve, we need to get rid of them, abolish them, get them out of the fucking way so that the next generation of people, taxpayers, citizens, businesses, don't have to deal with these fucking idiots, okay? If the United States is going to be a formidable superpower going forward, if we're going to have Bitcoin and blockchain, if we're going to have, um, uh, you know, uh, innovative technology going on where we get a chance to implement all the things that we're seeing developing, the um, shared economy, the gig society, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, the robotics and the AI is coming and all of these things are going to make or break us as an economy. And if we don't figure out how to properly um, position ourselves, get rid, get, get rid of the legacy um, institutions, okay? The Federal Reserve, the IRS, the banking system, fair may not make it. There's going to be some, there's going to be some fucking... Um, collateral damage, definitely. But we got to move forward. We got to move forward aggressively. We got to understand what's holding us back. And according to what I'm reading about the IRS and what I know about the Federal Reserve, what I know about, um, um, you know, the economy and and and, and finances, or whatever, um, we got to do some house cleaning. Okay, so get behind this guy, um, Jeffrey Burns, and his efforts to. Uh, Either get a class action lawsuit against the IRS and, and keep them out of Coinbase's business because if, if see, this is, this is very telling also. The IRS is trying to classify Bitcoin as a currency. The Chicago Futures Exchange is trying to classify Bitcoin as a commodity. Some other fucking agency tries to, class, tries to classify Bitcoin as a property. These fucking idiots don't have a fucking clue what it is. It's new, I'll tell you that. It's emerges, emerging, I'll tell you that. It's very innovative, I'll tell you that. But don't fucking get in the way of an emerging, emerging technology that has potential to change the way money is handled, transactions are sent and received, the way we value money is going to change, and Bitcoin and blockchain are going to be at the center of it. And to have these morons get in the way, get in the middle, and try to um, treat this like the legacy fiat, cur fiat currencies that are collapsing all around the planet. Okay, Money is fleeing out of China by the tens of billions of dollars. Venezuelans are putting wheelbarrows of fiat fucking currency in wheelbarrows to go and buy bread. And milk. Um, Italy is looking at bail-ins and bailouts. They can't figure out which one is going to save the banking system. Bailing in where the depositors, um, their money is locked up and they can't get access to their money because they're bailing out the banking system. Or they can't figure out a bailout. Is Germany going to come to the rescue and send hordes of cash over to Italy to rescue the banks? They don't know. Nobody fucking knows. That shit is collapsing so quickly. It's hard to even try and keep it. Uh, um, you can't keep it from falling apart. Just so you guys don't know, fiat currencies like the dollar, 90% of them um, go out of existence <laughs> over time. They're not designed to last very long. They, they have some, uh, some inherent um, uh, characteristics or in inherent deficiencies that basically caused them to collapse or implode, okay? Crypt that's the way fiat currencies work. Uh, Bitcoin and, 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 the, and, the, and the new cryptocurrencies going forward, we're looking at the flaws and we're looking at the inherent issues associated with the fiat currencies and we're programming and developing that out of the cryptocurrencies, particularly Bitcoin. So um, this, is, this is what we're up against. We have to make sure that we stay on top of this issue first and foremost because the IRS is demanding access to more data, more private records, etc. They don't know how to 
secure and reassure us that they know that they know what they're doing with the existing database of customers. When when they screw up and and um, uh, take too much money from you, they don't pay you interest. They don't apologize. Nobody sends you a fucking letter or anything stating that they screwed up. Um, you can't go to the IRS's website and pay using Bitcoin because they're not set up as a currency yet. It's not set up as a currency yet. With the IRS, it's still developing. It's still emerging. emerging. It's still being um, tweaked and refined, okay? So the IRS is it's, it's kind of ironic that the IRS says this is a, a, a currency and we want to tax it as such, but I can't go to the fucking IRS's website and pay them. There's no barcode to scan. There is no um, uh, Bitcoin address that I can use that's going to allow me to pay my taxes in Bitcoin. So it's not a currency. Currencies are such that I can pay you right now. You can pay me right now. You can go to my website. I can go to yours. I can send you a check, money order, something and pay you. That's what currency is. When those idiots at the IRS figure out how ironic it is that I can't even pay my taxes in Bitcoin, but you want me to pay you taxes, it's ridiculous. Okay, so get your head out, get your head out of your asses, and make sure you understand that we need to let this thing develop, and you need to consider finding another job. Okay, look at some other ag- agency within the federal government, but we don't need the IRS. Matter of fact, algorithms and programs and apps and such could probably do a lot better in terms of making sure that um, we digitize regulations and rules regarding paying of taxes. It should be as quick as a, a you know clicking a button. Or when I go, what about this? When I go to pay, buy my fucking groceries, they, tax, they take all that. They, if they tax me, tax me at that point when I buy a car, buy some groceries, buy some milk, buy some gas, you let the fucking apps and digital payment system take care of that automatically. That way we don't have this major discrepancy between how rich people comply and how poor people comply, okay? So get your heads out of your asses. Make sure you understand in a digitized world, an electronic world with cryptocurrencies and digital payment systems, tax compliant, even a fucking retard should be able to do it, okay? Get an app on your phone. Get some sort of uh, automated procedure where this is taken care of automatically and send me some fucking audit, audit-related information regarding what you're doing with my money, okay? Because when I send my money to anyone, and, I, and, 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 and if I want them to, the, to, to, if I want to make sure that they're using my money appropriately, that means I get a fucking, uh, automatically I, I should get some records um, that I can look at to see that you're not wasting my fucking money, okay? So you guys have a great day and take care. It's a pleasure. If you have any need for um, surveillance and security equipment, the bug detectors, the GPS trackers, the audio bugs, listening devices, etc., etc., even anti-terrorist products, the explosive detectors, the X-ray baggage scanners, and the uh, narcotics detectors. Give us a call. 888-344-3742. That's 888-344-3742. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Take care. Bye.